Don't wanna wake up if I'm dreaming because you know I can't get enough of this feeling you're giving me. Don't wanna wake up. Now I don't wanna wake up. Don't wanna wake up without you, baby, without. Good morning. <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding. Just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> we are going to get a coffee. And I have to pick up two adult sized shirts at Hobby Lobby. And this girl. <gasps> Where'd you get hiccups? Huh? Where'd you get hiccups? Been drinking too much? Have you been drinking too hey. much? What's going on? We just left Hobby Lobby. Um, actually, I didn't know this, but they have two different kinds of shirts there. I just grabbed small um, adult shirts, and I got up to the front, and they're like, they were they ring up eight ninety nine each, and I was like, how much are those shirts? So. I was like, uh, do you guys have other shirts back there? She's like, yeah, these are just different material. And I was like, oh, okay. Well, I don't want those ones. So, she went ahead and got the three ninety nine dollars shirts. That's better. Um, I had a customer order mom and dad shirts, and they both needed a size small. So, I got those. And then I was browsing through the little doodads and, um, I was trying to pick out one to make Journey a headband, and I picked out this one. And I'm hoping that I can make her a little half birthday um, outfit and take some pictures of her in it. I wanted to do something, like more of like just like a color scheme. Um, we'll see. I don't even know. I don't even know what design. I know I have like one design and it's a cupcake. Um, rather than like doing something that's like Minnie Mouse or, you know. <coughs> but we'll see. I don't know what I'll come up with. I might change my mind. But I got that. It was like $3.99 and it was a used coupon. So that thing was what? Wrong receipt. Do I have your purses full of receipts? I do. I have no idea where it went. My purse is loaded with receipts. Look, I just pulled out like three or four receipts and they're not even the right one. Anyway, I don't know where it's at. But right now we're at Dunkin' Donuts and then we gotta go home. My husband's gotta go to work and I have to package up. Um, I sold a lot of flowers yesterday. One lot. Not a lot of flowers, but one lot of my flowers that I'm selling. So, um, I picked up a little bubble mailer last night at the Dollar Tree. So, I need to get those ready. Um, I probably won't mail it out until tomorrow just because, um, I don't want to load everybody up and go to the post office. Starly is sick. Aren't you, Starly? Yeah. Yeah. She said that she woke up with it yesterday, but it didn't really start bothering you until last night. And her nose has just been constantly running and she said it's stuffy and um, I did give her some Benadryl this morning like at 5 a.m. and we did put um, Vicks Vapor Rub on her chest last night because she wanted some and um, she had a headache so we gave her ibuprofen which reminds me you're out of ibuprofen so anyway I'm hoping I'm hoping she doesn't it's not the crud like the crud I had that would totally suck. It is now 524 and we are gonna have to go take Sterly to the walk-in clinic. Um she is not getting um started off with just like a cold. She said she didn't feel good yesterday. 
with um, nasal drippage and and then last night I mean she woke me up at like five o'clock in the morning so um, she took a little I don't know if you guys can hear. She's there going, oh, help me. <laughs> she, uh, what was I saying? Um, oh, yeah. So she took a nap this afternoon and ended up running a fever. It's 102.2. Oh, my goodness. What are you doing? What's that noise? Got gas. Got Journey on the floor. Um, but yeah, her fever was 102.2 and I don't have, we're out of ibuprofen to give her, so, um, and I don't want to drag her off to the store to go get her some, because I have to drag her in journey. So I called my husband and I was like, do you want to take her into the walk-in clinic and figure out if it's just a virus? If it's a virus, then, you know, it's got to run its course. If it's the flu... You know, they can swab her and check her for the flu. And if it is the flu, you know, get her on some medicine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyway, uh, I just want to figure out what's going on. Um, you know, if we wait too long, then it'll be late tonight. And if her fever gets too high or... Yeah, I just want to avoid all that. So, he gets off work at 6. He is trying to get that out of there as soon as he can. He's going to call me on his way home and I'm going to check in online. That's where I was going right now. Um, and see if we can do a check in. They're open till 8. So. I can't see. There it goes. Hey. Hi. How are you feeling? Uh -huh. oh. Yes, it is. Hey guys, we're in the waiting room. <laughs> Who's that guy? <laughs> um, they just swapped her for the flu. So they're gonna see if she has the flu. But um, we're in the waiting room. And some guy gave us some flowers he made out of tissue. He said he figured we were having a rough day. So I thought that was really sweet. Now we're going to blow our nose on it. No, just kidding. Here she is. Darling, look at me. You okay? So the doctor came in and now we're just waiting on the results of the flu test. Was that flu test awful? Yeah. came back negative. I had a running bet thinking it actually would be positive B. <laughs> Just because your, your story fits. You know, we don't see too many people that are this uncomfortable. Right. You know, with just regular colds and things like that. I don't see any sign of strep. You know, major sinus infection. I mean, most of the stuff coming out of your nose, at least what I saw, was like clear to white. I don't know if you've seen right. anything darker. Um, so I, I honestly, even though it was negative, I have a strong suspicion that it still could be flu. Um, the, uh, I mean, either way, it's either flu or it's a virus that's not as bad as flu, and, right. and it's going to last a few days and go away. If we want to err on the side of caution and see if we can't get her better quicker, then I think it's reasonable to put her on the flu medicine uh, to cover for that. Yeah. Um, and then it's Tylenol, mm -hmm. Motrin, fluids, rest, and, and getting better. <laughs> they make it 
they, you, can, you can do it as a little capsule. I don't know if you can swallow it, but you can also open the capsules and pour it like in some pudding or something and then eat it that way too. And it doesn't taste. I think that would be better. <laughs> you, you, you'd be good with that? Okay. Are you comfortable with that? I am. Okay. All right. And what pharmacy would you like? Um, CBS. Let me go get that in and make sure I can send it through the computer. Okay. And then uh, we'll get you a note that you're out of school basically until Jeez. we're sure you. Hey guys, we are now at Walmart. My husband went in. Sterling went with him because we were out of like children's Motrin. So, and she has to pick it out because um, she will not take anything that's cherry flavored or grape flavored. So she went with her dad to make sure they got the right stuff. Um, I don't know if you could hear in the video clip before this. If if it if you can make out, I'll insert it. But if we can't, um, the doctor said that her flu test came back negative but he had a running bet that it was going to be positive he's already saw like three cases of um type b flu today he said type b b flu is not as bad as type a flu but all of sterling's signs and everything kind of point towards the flu and that um if i wanted to if and felt comfortable with it we would go ahead and treat her for the flu because he said it might just be too early to tell and that if we did treat the flu and it is the flu it'll definitely shorten it um but if it is just a virus that she has of course it has to just wear around its course and so you know and i was like you know that's fine so he did prescribe her some i guess it's probably the tamiflu but it's caplets and he said like you can just open them up and sprinkle it on like pudding or something um so we'll have to go pick up that prescription but right now we are at walmart like i said because we are out of the ibuprofen and it is um 7 54 so it's almost eight o'clock which is not bad um we were probably there less a little less than two hours my husband got out of work at six and then we come straight down so and journey is asleep here my little sweet baby i wanted to make sure sterling didn't have the flu because you know i don't want this girl getting sick although she did she has had a she has had a boogery nose the past few days and I have been running the humidifier in the bedroom so we all can't be sick we all gotta get better I still <clears throat> am still a little bit congested like not like anything like I have been you can kind of hear it in my throat and but for the most part I am getting better I'm no longer hacking and coughing and yeah, although, <laughs> like, I need to nurse on that side. I'm full. Um, I was telling my husband, um, because I can nurse Journey in the car seat, and she's on this side of me. I was like, okay, when we go to Michigan, I was like, the day before and, you know, that night, I won't nurse on this side. So that way it gets really full, and there's a lot of milk on that side. But, um, I don't know. Now we have to figure out what's for dinner because we haven't ate. We are supposed to have baked spaghetti. But yeah, oh, and I thought that was so sweet of that guy or whatever to give us these little <laughs> uh, Kleenex roses. It's like I figured you're having a rough day. Thank you. But yeah, anyway. Um, oh, and I'm reading some of your guys' comments, um, because they posted right before we went in, and Debbie Cray, you know, hope you are all better soon, and I said she'll check, keep checking to see what the doc says, prayer for your very speedy recovery, and then Yusinia said praying for her to get well soon. Pray for your family. Alicia Duncan. Oh no, feel better, sweet girl. Joy, cynical. Make your prayers. Anyway. 
thank y'all so much um earlier it was earlier like way this morning australia was like she wasn't feeling good and i gave her the benadryl um she's like pray for me and it just breaks your heart you're like oh, if i could take it away from you and be sick for you i would you know i've been sick for like over five weeks six weeks yeah Chick-fil-A sauce. Tell everybody how you feeling. How are you feeling? Not very good. Not, are you feeling any better whatsoever? Mm, yeah, a little bit. Because your fever's gone probably. Yeah? We weren't able to get her medicine. The, the pharmacy, pharmacy didn't have it. So hopefully we'll get it tomorrow. Will you end the vlog? Hold on, let me zoom out. <laughs> You're marking at my Oh, you put your thumb on it. Hey guys, so we're gonna end the vlog. <laughs> Journey's putting her fingerprints all over my um, thing. I'm trying to figure out, I was watching some YouTube videos. Cause there's certain fe features on this camera I don't yet know. So I'm trying to figure them out. I noticed in a lot of videos I just edited, a lot of them are dark. So, um, hopefully I can figure everything out and it will be uh, looking good again. But we are going to end today's vlog. I didn't work on anything. I know a lot of people have been asking to see more of like what I'm working on and that kind of stuff. And I hope to show more of that. Um, it's just sometimes I get in the groove and I gotta get stuff done and I'm like, you know, who has time to pull the camera out? Um, but I have been trying to show more and more what I'm working on. But like right now, it's kind of slow. Like I have like eight orders I think I have to work on. Um, I need to finish up um, this lady. You probably, probably showed it last night. I was working on a Monsters, Inc. And um, she emailed me today and said she wanted to you forgot to tell me the name so I'm gonna have to go back and put the name on it so I'm gonna do that tomorrow um, which is fine because I, it's still on the hoop anyway I, I just have to take it off the hoop and rehoop it for the name which I'd have to do anyway because the Monsters Inc design is a pretty big z design and takes up the entire 5x7 hoop and um, I have a rush order for a Elmo that I want to get done tomorrow as well as a unicorn which the unicorn is supposed to ship out tomorrow and she messaged me and asked me when her order was going to ship out she just needs it by the 28th but well, I just told her you know I had to go take my daughter to the walk-in clinic which my main concern with that is like if she had the flu I wanted to make sure we got it you know taken care of because we don't want this girl getting the flu. No. And look at how raw her chin is. That's from drooling. Right now I'm holding a camera and a baby. I don't think I can open it. But we are going to head to bed. So. Um, yeah. Just make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to leave us a comment down below. We love to read your comments. And Strolly said what? Give her a thumbs up if you want her to feel better. Yeah. And leave leave a comment down below if they want you to feel better. Yeah. Yeah. Do you like reading people's nice comments? Yeah. yeah. Anyway. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. See. Bye.